Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Sada Shivrao. Today's session, we are going to learn Hibernate. Hibernate introduction. What is the Hibernate? Why you need the Hibernate? Where you are going to use the Hibernate? And all those things I am going to cover in this video. First, I am going to discuss about what is the Hibernate. See, Hibernate is an open source ORM tool. ORM tool means Object Relational Mapping Tool, which acts as a middle layer between a Java application and a database, transfers to and fro data in the form of objects. See, it is a middle layer between a Java application and a database. It transfers data in between Java application and as well as the database. It is an object relational mapping tool. Hibernate is a object relational mapping tool. Next, Hibernate is an abstraction layer on top of a JDBC technology which provides a persistent services in the form of an objects. See here, JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. J JDBC is the middle layer between a Java application and the database. See here, Hibernate is an abstraction layer on top of JDBC. In the JDBC, there is some drawbacks are available. That's why all those drawbacks are eliminated in the Hibernate. That's why Hibernate is an abstraction layer on top of JDBC technology, which provides a persistent, persistent services in the form of an objects. Hibernate is used to develop only a persistence logic of a Java projects. It is not possible to develop the entire real-time projects only by using Hibernate. See here, it's not possible to develop the whole application. Why? Because the Hibernate only used to communicate with the database. Hibernate only used to communicate the, with the database. That's why it is not possible to create a whole projects. Coming to the next point, Hibernate persistence logic can be used in a Java application which running at a client side or it may be a server side. See, in the before point we discussed, Hibernate is, a, is used to develop a persistence logic. That persistence logic we can run in a client side or it may be a server side. Finally, Hibernate persistence logic can be used in Java application which runs at a client side or it may be a server side. Coming to the next point, I am going to discuss about a data representation in a Java class. How we are going to represent the data in the Java class? In the Java class, data can exist in the either text format or an object format. See, there is a two formats are available. Either we are going to represent in a text format or a Java format. See, this is the text format. In the text format, the data will be stored in a variables and in a object format, data will be stored in the object. See, this is an example of text format. See, now here I am storing the data in the variables. This is nothing but a text format of data. This is nothing but a text format of data. In the above, m1 is the method see this is the m1 m1 is the method of a demo class contains a customer details in the form of variables it is nothing but see m1 is the method in the a here is the variables it contains the variables these variables are nothing but text format of data see this is the text format of data here m1 method of a demo class this is the m1 method this is the class called demo m1 method of a demo class contains a data of a customer in the form of object if you see see this is the text format of data now if you see this is the object format of data demo is the class here it contains m1 is the method now i am storing the data this is the object c is the object of a customer i am storing the values of a customer id and a customer name and a mobile number 
see this is called object format of data see see here this is the object format of data to make either text format of data or an object format of data it may be a text format of data or it may be an object format of data as a persistent data it may be this is the text format of data and this is the object format of data all these two data is a persistent data we can take a file in the backend now if you see i'm going to compare past to present how data will be stored in a backend now if you see in the back end see if you see in the back end this is the first option now we are writing the text format of data in a file from a java program to make it as a persistent data we use the io streams of a java api to write and read the data using the files if you see in the past we are using the files to store the data in the back end you want to read the data from the files we are going to use input stream and the output stream see if you want to read the data from the file we are going to use the input stream if you want to write the data into the file we are going to use the output stream these are the java api we are going to use uh, to write and read the data from the file this is the option option one now it has some drawbacks that's why java is implementing the one more option that is serialization and deserialization this is the second option we are writing an object format of data into a files from a java program to make it as a persistent data now we use the serialization and the deserialization of a java api to write and read the data or objects using the files see here now here backend is the files now i am storing here i am storing the text format of data in the option one if you see in the second option i am uh, we got the some problems that's why i am going to the second option here i am going to store the files contains the objects here if you want to read the objects from the back end from the file system java implemented one api called serialization under the deserialization see serialization and deserialization we are going to read and write the data from the back end files are containing the some drawbacks to use as a back end see these are the files here there is some problems are there by using the back end that's why the major problems are redundancy inconsistency security we specified uh, from the file as a back end if you are using the back end as a files we are getting the some problems that's why we are going to use that's why we are using the database see this is the third option in the third option we are using the back end as a file if you are using back end as a uh, back end as a files we are getting the some issues those are the redundancy inconsistency that's why we are using back end as a database if you see we use the jdbc technology in the third option we are going to use the jdbc technology to write and read the text format of data into the database we use the sql commands in a java program to write and read the data by using the database see here this is now here database in the database i am storing in the text format of data in the text format of data if you want to read the data from the database now i am going to use the jdbc technology i am using the jdbc technology to read and write the data from the back end by using the java program now this is also giving us some problems that's why we are moving into the database as a back end i am storing the objects into the database see this is the option 1 this is the option 2 this is the option 3 and this is the option 4 finally i am using the database as a back end i am storing the objects in the back end see this is the back end i am storing the objects as a back end here the text format of data we can use the jdbc technology to write and read the objects from format of data using the database using the jdbc 
if we want to transfer or read an object using the database some complex work is required see here if you want to read the objects from the database there is a complex job is required to read that's why to read the object data to read the object data into the variable and then insert that values into that particular database here serialization serialize the object so file is created then insert the data into the file next convert the data convert the object data into xml file and then insert the xml file into the database see here if you want to read the objects from the database by using the jdbc technology we need to do we need to do so much rework that's why if you uh, that's why we are introducing the orm tool see here to reduce the burden to reduce the burden on the java programmer and to easily transfer the object format from java to database and the database to java we got the object relational mapping tools into the market see here whenever you are using the files in the time we are going to use the input stream and output stream to communicate with the backend files then the second option we are facing the some issues because of this one that's why we are moving into the second option here i'm using the backend as a file i'm storing the objects into the backend files here i'm going to use the serialization and the deserialization concept here also i am facing the some inconsistency and redundancy issues that's why we are using the jdbc technology and backend as a database i'm storing the plain text here also i am facing the some issues that's why we are moving into the database backend as a database and i am in the i am storing the objects into the backend i am using the jdbc technology to interact with the database now if you want to interact with the database uh, objects by using the jdbc technology we need to do so much hard work that's why warm tools comes into the market see in the real time application the data from one layer to another layer will be transferred in the form of objects if we use the jdbc then form persistence layer or to database the data will be transferred in the form of text for example if we are using the jdbc technology the data will be transferred in the network in the form of text if you using the orm tool the data will be in move into the network in the form of object to reduce the burden on the programmer that is to transfer the data in the form of uh, uh, to transfer the data in the object format only form persistence layer to the database and the providing the orm tool that is the object relational mapping tool see here this is the no, object relational mapping tool now this is my persistent layer here i am passing the object to the business layer here in i am doing the some process at here now here i am sending that object to persistent layer text if the jdbc object if the orm here i am passing if i am passing the business layer to persistent layer if it is the text i am using the jdbc technology if i am passing the object i am using the orm tool means hibernate i am saving the data into the database this is the flow we are saving a text format or an object format of data now here orm see here orm we know the jdbc now here orm orm means a object relational mapping tool here object relational mapping tool means what an orm is a software or a tool see here a orm is a software or a tool which acts as a bridge between a java application and a database to transfer to and fro the data in the form of objects see nothing is there orm means it is a middle layer between a java program and the database it is going to convert your data in the form of objects that is only whenever you are sending a orm is a software tool which acts as a which acts as a bridge between a java application and as a database to transfer to and fro the data in the form of objects see here i am sending the java program to orm tool 
Now, when I am sending, I am sending to the warm tool data. Warm tool converts the data into the object that will be stored it into the database. Whenever I am retrieving the data from the database, it will be used the raw data. Automatically, warm tool converts the data into the on the form of object and uh, it sent back to the Java program. And that is about the warm tool. Warm tool is a mediator between a Java pro application and the database. To transfer to and fro the data in the form of objects. This is about Hibernate introduction. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel Sadar Learning Hub. And like my video. Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.